Hello everyone. I am Mrs. K. Punita, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Huzur. Now I am going to discuss about the topic Fire Insurance. Introduction of Insurance Fire is needed in almost all the places like house, office, factories, railways, cinema houses, restaurants, hotels or in a picnic party or even in hospitals. In addition, people may have to suddenly face natural climates like tsunami, volcanic eruptions, flash floods, landslides, etc. In order to mitigate the suffering due to all the reasons cited above, the method of fire insurance has been devised as a means of protection against such losses. The fire insurance policy enables the policy holder to claim compensation for cost incurred towards repairing, replacing or reconstructing a property damaged in a fire. Next, meaning of fire insurance. Fire insurance is a social device to compensate for the all losses consequent upon destruction by fire. The fire insurer shift burden of fire losses from their actual victims to all the members of society. It is a cooperative device to share the loss. It relieves insured from horror of the fire losses to which he is exposed. It provides timely financial help in the case of loss of insured properties. It also provides for the consequential loss including profit due to interruption of business on occurrence of fire. Since it is not possible to predict the estimation of losses due to fire, insurance provide issue fixed value compensation when policy holder file claims. There are you get the maximum sum assured when you file your claim for the fire insurance. Next one is functions of fire insurance. Functions of fire insurance is to make good the financial loss suffered as a result of fire. It is not the function of fire insurance to replace the economic loss termed fire waste. The true functions of fire insurance is to equalize heavy fire losses of a few individuals by distributing them over a large number of persons held together by the ties of insurance. The greatest advantage of fire insurance lies in the fact of individual enterprise and security. But this does not contract the fire waste in any way. On the other hand, it actually encourages the dishonest insurers burn their own property and raise its cash value from an insurance company, which would not be possible but for the insurance. The better system of rating and fixing premium according to the actual risk, the risk Insurance thus reduce the fire waste to the some extent. Such damage apart from causing the owner's financial loss dislocates the community's economic activity. In spite of sustained efforts made by human ignited to achieve complete mastery of fire, material property continues to be liable in varying degrees of destruction or damage by the escape for fire from its contract. Some of the insurable properties are building, electrical installation, contents of building such as machines, plant, equipments, accessories, etc. Goods such as raw materials, goods in process, finished goods, goods in open or in the premises, contents in dwelling, shops, hotels, furniture, fixtures and fittings and other movable and immovable properties. Fire insurance is the device to compensate for the loss consequent upon destruction by fire. Thus the fire insurer shift the burden of fire losses from their actual victims over to all the members of the society. Next characteristics of fire insurance. Essential of a valid contract. Like any other ordinary contract, a fire insurance contract must fulfill the essential elements of valid contract. Good faith, a fire insurance contract 
being a contract of utmost good faith requires the insured and the insurer to disclose everything which is in their knowledge and which might affect the contract. Insurable interest, a fire policy is valid only if the policy holder has an insurable interest in the property insured. Consideration, fire insurance policy is issued for a lawful consideration that is premium. Next one is indirect risk. The fire insurance also includes indirect risk such as comprehensive risk, consequential risk caused by the fire and reinstall instatement or regularization risk which occurs after the fire destroys the goods or properties. Assignment fire policies can be assigned with the prior consent of the insurer. Intimation of fire. On occurrence of the fire, the insured should be intimated immediately so that he could salvage the remainder of the property and can also determine the amount of loss. Cover note. In fire insurance, a cover note is issued in advance of the policy and usually contains the same terms and conditions on which policy is to be issued. If any losses occurs before the policy is issued, cover note will be sufficient to prove the insurance. Settlement of claim. The claim may be settled in case in cash or by reinstating or re Evaluating the goods or properties damaged by fire under the fire insurance. Tenure of the policy. Fire insurance policy are issued usually for one year duration but in some cases of shorter period also. History of fire insurance. Fire insurance has not a long history. The real establishment of fire insurance came only after the Great Fire of London in 1066. This fire lasted for the four days and nights, burning over 436 acres of ground and destroying over 13,000 buildings was the most disaster fire in history of awake the people to the necessity for the form of protection against such calamities. The main causes of its late development was the slow progress of trade and commerce. After a certain period, when the business and commerce ran high, fire insurance received a real fulfill. Previously, there was no basis on which the premium could be paid. There were few concerns that made remarkable progress. Gradually, as they gained experience, the data went to the accumulating and premium rates become more equitable and scientific. However, the progress in fire insurance was not tremendous and categorical as was in the case of life insurance. Subject matter and fixation of fire insurance. It may be any kind of movable and immovable property having pecuniary value. The property intended to be insured must be properly described. As per the fire insurance, it is governed by tariff the following the example of insurable property such as building, electrical installation in buildings, contents of building such as machinery, plant, equipment, accessories, etc. Goods, raw materials, work in progress, semi-finished goods, finished goods, packaging materials in factories and goodons. Goods in open, contents in leveling, shops, hotels, etc. Furniture, fixtures and fittings and pipelines including contents located inside or outside the com compound etc. Benefits of fire insurance Financial protection The primary benefit of fire insurance is the financial shield it provides against unforeseen property damage or destruction caused by fires. This coverage ensures that the policyholder does not face crippling financial losses. Reconstruction and replacement. In case of damage, the policyholder can use the insurance payout to repair or reconstruct the property, facilitating a quick recovery and minimizing business downtime. Peace of mind. 
fire insurance policies bring peace of mind to property owners reducing anxiety about potential losses and enabling them to focus on their daily activities without constant worry business continuity for businesses fire insurance in a lifeline it helps maintain business continuity by covering not only the cost of repairs but also the potential loss of income during the period of interruption legal complaints many lenders and landlords require individuals and the business to have fire insurance coverage as a prerequisite for loans or lease it helps fulfill legal and contractual obligations risk mitigation fire insurance encourage property owners to implement fire prevention measures as insurers often provide discounts for properties equipped with fire safety systems finally you have an assessment first heading risk identification identify potential fire risk associated with your property or business are there specific factors that increase the livelihood of a fire such as the natural materials used or location next to heading coverage adequacy access the adequacy of your fire insurance coverage does your policy cover the full replacement cost of your property in case of fire including any improvements or renovations please kindly give your answer in the comment box thank you